Okay, welcome back. We are recording very good. Um, let me just uh, get used to my bearings. Any lag? Nope. Everything seems to be fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, new event something. Okay. A uh, Lolo campaign rerun. Okay. Lolo Logistics, I remember. Uh, sure. Still have enough time to do all that. Oh, she is here. And you are here. Okay, I would be very interested in knowing if... Since you are now on the banner, right? Uh, this is... Oh, this is her companion mission. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you would have a companion mission still, or the uh, same one we initially did back in 1.0. Hmm. Yo, who? Sanhua Murphy. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's that. Um, can I just make this go way uh i don't know small woolly big adventures <laughs> definitely want to do encore stuff eventually uh can i make this oh event rewards proceed i mean no it's gonna stay there i think yeah that's the type of thing that's just gonna stay there okay uh what else i guess yeah well, that convening prevail of the lasting night. Gian is up. Okay, so uh, yeah, only Gian is here in the limited one because uh, yeah, uh, Ankor would normally be in the standard one. <laughs> sure. Uh, how are we looking here? Loading records. <laughs> okay, it does show. Um, it only shows five pages. That's so. I guess I've only wished for, well, four and a half pages. Okay, I mean, let's put one in and uh, see if we get anything. Probably not. Yeah, that's a blue. Sure. The month has not yet changed, so we don't have much in the way of the shop. I have something left. I mean, yeah, I have a couple more here to claim eventually. You know, but these are not my, uh, not, not my, uh, primary idea. Well, I mean, I guess it's good to eventually get them. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, you can just buy Yohu currently on the store. Cool. Um, okay. That is that, and is this just a quest? Yeah, just the event. Oh, I guess this too. Sure. <clears throat> Not gonna look at them. Cool. Do we need to do anything character-wise? Time for another adventure? Yes, sir. Let's reach farther destinations together. Why hesitate if you know what you want? Auto equip? Oh, I guess you're missing one. Auto equip might. Re That's fine. Um, upgrade, sure. Um, uh, sure. For trade, nice. Not sure if that's really useful on <laughs> Baiju. <laughs> because she is, uh, oh, I guess we can do it again. But I mean, it, it goes directly to this one, so I guess we can take it off of Baiju and it still keeps the tuning stuff. Crit and double defense, huh? Hmm. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, let me just heal. By uh, Ankor a bit. There we go. And let us continue to, uh, I guess, the cave or uh, 
whatever the place was called, uh, search for Jinshi. Yeah. Just checking everything looks good recording wise, yeah. Good, 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 good. Good kid. Yeah, I already checked out all of your dialogue and yours too. Okay, I didn't go this far. Little kids, nothing to say. I do love the winter outfits. Very breezy. Yu Kang or Yu Sang and Hui Lang. No dialogue popping up. Okay. Oh. How did it go for you? I saved as many pe people as possible and directed them to safety. But there were others. I did what I could. But don't beat yourself up. We acted quickly and saved a lot of lives. Hey, nice. Uh, it's all thanks to Lady Shin Yi. Hmm, okay. I was so overwhelmed, my mind went blank. If she hadn't been there to give orders, I wouldn't have even made it out alive, let alone save anyone. It's rare to hear that from you. I remember how much you opposed to Uncle Fu's decision to let her take the reins back in the day. Well, I thought she knew nothing about our town as an outsider. Okay, sure. But it was too late. The decision had been made, uh, had been made based on the support she received. <laughs> In the end, I just accepted the inevitable. Okay, uh, let us ask about Uncle Fu. Uh, have you never heard about Uncle Fu? She must be the esteemed guest from Jinjo, Lady Shin Yi mentioned. Yes, sir. <laughs> I see. The ma that man in the white shirt is Uncle Fu. Uh, that one? Former leader, leader of Hong Zhen. Despite having stepped down from his position, he still commands respect from, townsfolk, from the townsfolk. Sure. He's said to be over a hundred years old, holy, making him the oldest person in town. Mm. I do wonder if the, uh, I mean, so far we haven't heard anything, anything that would tell us otherwise, so I guess I'm just going to assume that people live relatively to the same age as humans do in our world. Uh, it must be tough for him. Enduring all this chaos at his age. Oof. Yeah, maybe. Okay. A bit about Uncle Fu. No, you're not Uncle. Maybe you are? No, you're Lady. Who is Uncle Please, Fu race. then? You. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you seemed like a fun and reasonable old man. Yeah, sure. I was like, the camera panned this way, so I was like, uh, one of those three, but no, that's a girl. Lady. Yeah. Did we even see? I mean, m maybe, I guess. <laughs> uh, same talk, I guess. I'm just checking. Yeah, okay. Oh, right, we can skip. Thank you for that feature. Love that hairstyle. A doggo, girl's best friend. She seems a bit sad. I mean, she's kind of smiling. Hmm, just chilling. A cat and an older man. Or, no, younger man. Okay. And two cats, yeah. Sure. Okay, let's head in further in. Ooh, very mystical. So steamy. Ooh, I love that transition. Did and Jinshi know each other? Hmm. Jinshi was chosen as a baby for her resonance ability, and raised in City Hall to become the Sentinel's appointed resonator. Sure. All the government workers there helped care for and teach her at some point, mm. including Lady Xing Yi. Sure. She Xing grew Yi. up with immense responsibilities, forced to suppress her true nature from a young age. Hmm. 
Thinking back, Jin Shi was only a teenage girl when she became the magistrate. She has been burdened Oof. with unimaginable weight that most cannot fathom. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's rough. Okay, we need to head that way. Uh, let's just go the other path. Jinberry. Rub it. No meat. For us. Man, I just I just can't get over how 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 good this place looks. Like this is a winter place done right. I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure Genshin is glad that uh, this place decided to do a winter map before they released Neshnaya so they can take some lessons. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, let's not veer off of the path for now. I'm very curious about what is in that direction, but uh, I guess that's yeah, that's where we came from originally over that bridge to there, and that's the town, sure. So yeah, over there is the lower levels of the ponds we saw from up above when we first arrived. Man, even some, even most of the particles are like. Yeah, frozen there. Damn. Oh. Oh my god. Give me all the music. Leap device. Oh my god. <laughs> that was sick. Oh my god. Wow. Shuanji Regis. Uh, I'm still gonna go back. I want to walk that. Ah! Uh, let me go activate that one. Just in case. Since it's in the visible distance. Man, this song. Woo. It's it, it always hits different when uh when 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 uh the OST of the area you're in has like angelly breathy vocals Holy sense is tingling. no okay the music is gone unlucky glorious looms pearl new quest ah uh, no thank you sorry my bad my bad Bullies, let's give me back the music <laughs> give me back the other music interesting oh i see one of I think those are the squares or uh, cubes. So the water is still flowing. Yeah. Just mm, a lot of the particles in the air are frozen along with the animals. That's a very cool device. <laughs> Ah, fine, I'll check this since I can see them with my bare, bare eyes. <gasps> Is that a, a frozen animal or... No, it's an enemy. Not frozen in time. Yeah, man. Whatever that OST is, uh, it's, it's going on my playlist. <laughs> Hell yeah. So good. Hey, what are you? It, it, it's it's marked on the map as a special thing. I guess it's this place's version of the cubes. Uh, of the... Uh, wait, I'm way off. Of the what are they called? Sonnen's caskets. Yeah, maybe this place's version of Sonnen's caskets. Almost junior level 40, uh, 34. Ooh, there's another leap device up there. I assume, yeah. 
Uh, why not? Oh, never mind. I assume this is the Truth Seeker's past, Shin Yi mentioned. Maybe. Interesting track, yeah? Yes. This should be another Chronos Order. Mm -hmm. It should work in similar ways with the one we saw near the Luminous Shore. Sure, sure. Design? The entrance is built on that cliff, and it's been blocked. Mm -hmm. We will need to break the three photon vaults with ranged attacks first. Sure. Hmm. Um, what is it, Chung Li? Nothing. <clears throat> I was wondering, how did the Court of Savante create such an advanced mechanism using the Sentinel's power? Hmm. Mortals aren't supposed to be able to comprehend it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there is a, a genius amongst the um, Court of Savante, COS, staff members, or they... Oh my god, this music is back. Or there is um, they received some kind of knowledge from whatever they were reser researching, like unlocked something that wasn't supposed to be unlocked, or they received support from uh, Braxidus, which is very likely also. Those are my three instant ideas. Obviously, there could be something else there. Or, you know, they just got good. <laughs> and this music. I've never heard of any human civilization having the ability to manipulate time. Hmm. Unless... The Sentinel willingly taught them. Sure, sure, but that's why? an idea. Why indeed? We need to focus on items related to the Court of Savante in Truth Seekers Pass. Maybe we can find some clues there. Hmm. Sure. Uh I Oh. Activate. Oh. Ah, I see. Sure. Uh, Lily, do we need to do this in quick succession? I forget. Okay. I <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, you're up. She's you. I'll save the day. One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. Mm -hmm. We can't seem to break three of them at once. At once. Perhaps we'll need to use the Chronos Order. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I see. And, uh... Hmm. Does that do anything? I mean, it rises that up. I mean, that does that. Uh, I mean, I, I do notice this crack here. Good. Oh. Did you see the tacitite fulminate on nope. that cliff? Nope. Perhaps we can create an opening in this disc with an explosion. Sure. I... I'm gonna be honest, no, I did not Chang Li. The good eyes. I, I, I want to test quickly. If I stand in the opposite direction, does it. I, I assume not because it's directed there. But please throw me that way. Nope. <laughs> it's just 180. Vroom. Yeah, and now we uh, roll it to the middle. <laughs> It worked. The opening fits right onto the middle photon vault. Yep, yep, yep. Rover, now we can hit the three photon vaults simultaneously. Mm-hmm. Barrier uh, gone. The blockade has been lifted. Let's go in. Sure, with my level one issue. <laughs> 
Not quite. Um, yeah, yeah. After this quest is done, we, we will definitely... What story will Ankar hear today? Get up, Ankar. Uh, after this quest is done, we'll definitely change our party up. Finally. Oh, right. Boom. I love that so much. Um, I will get that chest. Let me just... That's directly underground. Okay, so we can't get there. I guess this takes us underground. Here is the music again. <laughs> yeah. There has to be more, right? I, I don't know if I'm too early to hate, but probably my favorite track of the game. <laughs> uh, let me get this. Sure. Uh, can we do anything quickly here? Sure, that's quick. Um. There we go. Well, that's quick. Quickly done. Uh, complete. Can, can we do it? No, we need to go to a synthesizer. I know there was one in the town. Um. Mm, yeah. Absorb one echo. Complete daily. Yeah. Exploration quest gives us a just full hundred. Damn. Um. I mean. Yeah, I guess we can't fully complete it right now, right here. Okay. Oh, just one more thing and we get to level 34. Just checking. Yep. New ore. My god. I guess that acts kind of as a loading zone. Maybe. That felt like it because it did like a... Yeah, it stutters a bit there. Okay. Root Seekers pass upper tier. Yeah, so lower tier where we get that teleport point. Yeah. After this quest is done, we will do all sorts of inventory, character management, and uh, probably a bit of world exploration before we... I don't know if there... I mean, I, I would assume there is more main story. But, uh, yeah. We'll do this, this Act 7 first. Gloom Why slouch. are there tacit discords here? Mm. No. These monsters... They don't look like the usual tacit discords. Mm. These also look like the works of the Court of Savante. Sure. Did they create these simulated holograms to protect this place? Hmm. Curious, curious. Woolly yeah. sense is tickling. They are higher level, but we will manage. Speeding up. Veteran. Clean. Woolly stampede. This is so much fun. You're in for it now. Fine, I'll take care of these first. If I can. You're in. Let me be your blade. Come storm. Hear my command. Woolly's attack. Ouch. It's not strong yet. There we go. That's the first one. Clean. Ready to counter that one yet? Okay, let me just get some healing up here. Huh. Ouch! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that coming. Leave me alone. Shape the shapeless. And go. Here we go again. Commence embracing change. The bullies attack. Ouch. This is so much fun. Ouch. Ow. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Please, let the winds roar. Can I get some healing up here? Acceptable damage. Ha. Here comes Encore. 
into Wooly Belly, you go! Did it go down? Did it? Yeah, toughness went down. Very good. I'm not gonna use Q well in this mode. This is so much fun! Let me be your blade. Okay, I've got finished off. Noise. No echo though. Oh my god, there's more. Sure. Here comes Encore. No one picks on Encore's friends. You're it. Well, like, huh. <sighs> Let me be your blade. Oh my god, this is a good place to Here do this. Oh, hell yeah. Be careful of those purple things. Embracing change. Foolish. Okay. Rejuvenating Get this, snow. then change and start ah! smacking. Here comes <laughs> Very cool enemy. I don't know what the balls do. Probably just damage. Oh my god. This is so much fun. Let me be your blade. I don't think I can get this toughness down. Boom. Nice. Okay. Three stars. That thing up ahead. Yeah. Is it another mechanism? Yes. It seems to have unlocked after we got rid of those holograms. Mm. Let's go and have a look. Sure. Yeah, we can manage. Uh, if there is a boss enemy, it might be a bit... To keep. It might be a bit tough to beat a boss enemy, but we'll manage maybe. No echoes from those guys. Uh, Speeding up. Thank you. Oh, more ores. Oh, more stuff in general. Um, should I go that way? Can I see? Okay, it does point me just slightly there but that's the main point okay let's try going this way Willies, let's race. i assume this place will be available after we complete this mission but just in case it isn't uh let's go this way first so we don't miss anything Willies, let's race oh uh, one more there there we go Nothing there. Seemingly not. Sure. Maybe this is a way we need to go later. Not sure. Not sure. I uh, pick up a pole. No. Yeah, just cold water. Yes. There has to be more, right? Noise. I don't know. Maybe. Read. Okay. Da, 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 da. Willies, keep up. Nothing more there. Willies, let's race. Huh? Nice. And that takes us somewhere. Oh, there's one of those things hanging huh? there. Okay, let's read this. Uh, maybe part three. Oh, there's. Did it go back already? Uh, part three, hopefully. No, a completely different thing. <clears throat> okay. Monitoring report on abnormal spectrum performance of C001. Sure. Uh, report for subject. Sure. Entry, whatever. <laughs> 69, nice. Abstract. The data presented in this report were, uh, were, was, obtained from spectrum evaluations performed on subject uh, C001, also known as JUA. Okay, from June blank to December blank. Okay, yeah. During a preliminary experiment conducted on June 14th blank year, researchers, researchers, researchers observed a 15 second frequency loss in subject C001's spectrum. Five additional tests were later conducted through the following day and all data obtained reflecting the frequency loss were highly consistent margin of error average below 0.02 sure 
the recorded data of the resonant spectrum on the 3rd, 6th, 11th, 23rd and 30th of the subsequent month indica indicated a gradual lengthening of subject C001's frequency loss. Mm, scary. The data exhibited significant increases with varying patterns. It was postulated that this event occurred due to the presence of subject C002, okay, also known as the Mianlung Chamber. Why is this chamber itself uh, a subject? Huh, okay. Subsequent 32 one-factor experiments confirmed a significant correlation between subject C002 and the duration of frequency loss in subject C001. Notably, subject uh, C002 exhibited an inhibitory effect on the duration growth of subject C001. Sure. Based on the spectrum monitoring data of subject C001 from June to December, the following preliminary conclusions can be drawn. 1. Subject C001 bears defect slash malfunction. Okay. Subject uh, 2. Subject C002 can temporarily slow down the escalation of subject C001's defect, but cannot make up for subject C001's frequency loss. Hmm. Appendix 1. Uh, source Research Memo C349. <laughs> Before we eventually find this or have already seen this, I don't know. Um, with the help of the <clears throat> peculiar visitor, we were given the opportunity to converse with subject C001 directly. Uh, I'm assuming Praxidus. It was a meaningful and mutual conversation, though we didn't get as much information as I had hoped. I? We? I? Hmm. But at the very least, the conversation proved one point. Our previous research was effective and there was no defect in C001. As per C001's own declaration, one of the temporal programs was lost. Interesting that he calls it, pro uh, UA calls it a program. Sure. And during its prime, C001 had the capability to manipulate time by decelerating it or even halting it, rewinding it and making corrections as needed. Very scary. Nonetheless, the current condition of C001 can be described as one of sickness, with irreversible disruptions to time rendering any attempts at correction or restoration ineffective. Okay. Consequently, Mount Firmament has been transpor transported, <laughs> transformed into an isolated entity amidst the vast oceans of time despite the initial purpose being one of redemption. Hmm. A later memo. Appendix uh, 2. Another later memo. By running through time flow models, we came up with two hypotheses. Hypothesis 1. C001's defect is non-congenital congenital, and this defect may have taken place around the period of C001's first arrival at Mount Firmament. It has been confirmed that the defect cannot be reversed. reversed. See, report, uh, was that the previous one? No. That is another report. Hypothesis 2. The discrepancy in temporal progression between the interior and exterior of the time bubble has been progressively widening. Hmm. Based on data comparisons, there exists a correlation between the deceleration rate of time flow in Mount Firmament and the growth rate of duration of C001's frequency loss. Sure. Expanding on the second hypothesis, if C001 were to eventually cease to exist, the uncontrolled flow of time in Mount Firmament would likely surpass its limitations and impact a broader range of regions, such as 
<laughs> the entirety of Jinsho. That is scary. Mm. This might be why that peculiar visitor offered to work with us in the first place. Mm. Mm. Now I'm less sure that it's Fraxidus because they are seemingly trying to avoid any disaster happening to uh, Jinsho. I, I guess it could be Jinshu, sure. I'm just like, whenever they say peculiar, I'm like, okay, that's a bad guy. <laughs> or also my, uh, <laughs> my, my ideas have been, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, the Fraxidus has been manipulating things behind the scenes, so yeah. Uh, might be Jinshi, might be someone from the Black Shores. Might be us in the past. Appendix 3. Uh, research memo way later. <laughs> uh, efforts are being made to advance the development of the artificial resonance object. Mm. <laughs> Let us create a god. <laughs> I don't know. Although we have not yet achieved success, we have decided to name it the Chrono Sorter. In honor of our recent progress. <laughs> hey. I know we have our peculiar visitor to thank for every progress we've made so far. If the Chrono Sorter project is successful, it's a win-win for everyone involved. As I had anticipated, they intend to restore and utilize C001's complete power in order to rectify the temporal distortion with the aid of, reson of a resonance object. There is, still a, uh, there is still a significant journey ahead of us. This is merely the starting point. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, definitely a nice report, yeah? Getting some backstory regarding... Regarding Court of Savante and Jue. Sure. I mean, it says that's the end, is it? And there's... Oh, it just leads down? I guess. Can I just... Uh, okay, I need to do that. Okay, it doesn't give me the info on that. Uh, here? Here? Wait, here. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Wind Chimer. Sure. Middle tier. Oh, that leads me to that point. And there is... <clears throat> I guess that's just to indicate it's on a lower level. Yeah, sure. Um... Do we go fight them? Sure. This might be pointless because we might be coming here later, but it is what it is. You're it. This is so much fun. Ha, ha. Hey, clean. Storm, hear my command. Okay, that's one. Okay, those guys joined us. Whatever. Embrace the change. Foolish. Commence heat. Let me be your blade. Nice. Here we go again. Leave me. Let the winds roar. Huge damage. No one picks on Uncle's friends. Oh. Oh, that's new. I guess. Yeah, I get trapped. Oh. Trapped by someone's ability. Let me be your blade. Clean. Ah, sure, let me. Use Embracing you. change. Uh, rejuvenating snow. Here comes on four. This is so much fun. Ha! Leave me alone. Ta, you're it. 
Nice. Give me some echoes. That's the first of this kind here. Clang bang. <laughs> Fun name. Hey, nice. We got there. Oh, thundering Mephis. Nice. Oh, and 34 level. Level 34. Pioneer podcast. Uh, does that, uh, I assume it's 35. Yeah, 35. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Quests. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Mount Firmament. Something. Uh, not timed. Good. Cool. Uh, tutorials. This is just for leap device and I guess frost bug. Yeah, sure. Trophies. Uh, exploration. Uh, Huang Long. Launch control. Use the leap device once. <laughs> sure. Okay. Still recording. Very good. Hmm. Okay. Curious. Um. There has to be more, right? Thank you for the title heritage. Do I have heal? Um. Uh, here. Yeah, this is a larger area than I expected. Hmm. No, go up. Yeah, stand there. Um, I guess I need Chisha for that. You can count on me. I sure can. Knew it. You can't do without Encore. Is there anything <sighs> there? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, uh, places where I cannot yet go. Oh, never mind. Maybe I can. Where would this go? Oh, there is something up there. Where does this go? Do I throw it there? Aim? No. Just for that? No. I mean, that is already open. Um, I mean, I don't know. Okay, let me see what's up there. It's the chest. Very cool. Oh, shiny! It's gotta be a dragon's treasure. Unless, uh, maybe I can break something here. Can I carry that while uh, while climbing? Nope. Yeah. Sure. Fair enough. I'll leave it be for now and just uh, that wall right there looks breakable though. But I know there's, I mean, map-wise there's nothing behind it. I don't know. Ooh. That's breakable. Bullies, let's race. Oh. Transform into Clang Bang. Interact with the mechanic to start the Echo Challenge. Clang Bang and transform into the Clang Bang. Uh, and use the leap device to launch yourself at ice walls to break through. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and trend, uh, jump and then launch a plunging attack to break through the ice caps. Jump and then launch a plunging attack too. Okay. Sh sure. Um. Friend? Or, yeah. Um. Can't use it. Um. Also, what was. 
interesting the doll doll's positioning sometimes. Yeah, I guess I can't use that yet. Or maybe I need to use is that a chrono sorter? I see a chest there. Let me go get it first. Find those keepers! They sure do. Also something is here. Oh. Big chest. Okay, interesting. Nothing seemingly I can do there yet. Just keep that in mind. Cannot go through that. That's underwater. Is this like a... Okay, I can't even use it yet. Okay. Nothing to read here. Sure. Light, light it with fusion power. Nope. Sure. And this doesn't do anything right now. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll just let it go. Push me all the way there. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Rip snail? Sure. I guess I can't do anything here yet. I, I guess I need to drain this place somehow? Question mark? Yeah, there isn't really a place to stand on unless I can literally stand on that. Or maybe on this pillar. I don't think I can do anything with that. Hmm. Sure. I'll come back here and figure out this later. Unless we need to do some story progression of that. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we undrain this place or change its time to a different period. I mean, that does... Mm -hmm, I don't know. Yeah. Because these seem like... um. How do I even ever get through this? I guess, yeah, the, this is the other side and there's the chest just around that corner. I don't know how I would get through this. Yeah. Um... I guess I could just warp. Let me go back this way in case I missed something. Time for Encore's aerial recon. Oh no! I had already used my spin, <laughs> midair spin. Sure, that was a nice distraction. And we know there is more. Wonder if there was previously something behind that, but no, there's just rock. Probably not. Okay, um, something on this side too. Here comes Encore! Anything else? No. Balls. Sure. <clears throat> Why do I have over a hundred ping? I'm not downloading anything as far as I know. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, just checking we are recording, yeah. In case some cutscene starts playing. Flare crest and flare stone. Flare crests typically come in sets and are used to seal the entrance of a ruin or other devices. Each flare crest corresponds to one flare stone. Flare crests can be extinguished, extinguished by approaching and activating the cor corresponding flare stones. After all flare crests of a set have been extinguished, the seal will be lifted. Sure. Um. The glowing patterns on that gate. 
It's a flare crest. Sure. Um, did the um, COS build this too? Yes. The flare crests have a complex structure, mm -hmm. but they can be deciphered with patience. Sure. See how <clears throat> each star represents a flare stone? Yeah. That mechanism we accidentally solved earlier should be one of them. Whoops. <laughs> uh, that's why the corresponding star has doomed. Yes. Mm -hmm. We still need the other two flare stones to open it. Okay. Wait. Wait. The blood and scales here. Mm. It's Jinshi. Uh, was she, uh, was Jinshi, was Jinshi was injured? She is likely teetering on the edge of overclocking now. Uh, but we weren't too far behind her as far as I know. Like, well, uh, 15 minutes or so, right? We are running out of time. <laughs> Very appropriate line here. It's pointing me towards that direction, yeah. Okay. Guess now we go to this direction. Maybe the thing has been unlocked. Decades have passed, but those researchers' presence still lingers in this place. Mm hmm Yeah, so I originally thought that we were instantly going to be able to go through that area and go over there, but nope, we need to come here. Uh, yeah, I have already read this. The sentinel situation is worse than we thought. Mm -hmm. It had already sustained severe injuries when it descended upon Mount Firmament. Seemingly, yeah. Hmm. With one of the temporal programs lost, it no longer had the power to restore time. Instead, it could only stop and rewind it. Mm -hmm. So, the Sentinel protected Hongzhen with its power. But it couldn't return things back to normal? Hmm. Yeah. What is the difference between restoring time and uh reversing time? Hmm. It would seem so. Yeah. According to their theories, the sentinel's injury would worsen over time. And if the sentinel perishes. The temporal disruptions will spiral out of control, yeah. engulfing all of Jinzhou. Yeah, very scary. <sighs> indeed, indeed. So the Fraxidus just added a pinch of salt to the already gaping wounds on Mount Firmament. Hmm. Is, uh, is there any way to cure the Sentinel? Seemingly not, but I, I don't know. Maybe. There's nothing we can do. Mm. At least that's what it says in these records. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe... Um, like, I, I still have, for some reason, an idea in my mind that maybe we can, like, fuse Jinshi and Jue together, but that would probably either meld their personalities or lead to the <laughs> eradication of one or the other. So, I don't know if that's a, an option, but I feel like because they are kind of linked, maybe they could help each other. Mm. Only the Mianlong Chamber can provide temporary relief for the mm. Sentinel, but it won't heal it completely. Right. In the end, the Sentinel and a peculiar visitor who is immune to time disruptions would have to come up with a last resort. Mm, the chrono sort of, uh, the resonance. The sentinel couldn't be fixed, so they decided to replicate its power onto a resonator mm. through induced resonance. I mean, yeah, it's a cool thing, but also very scary. And when it falls into the wrong hands, not if, but when, yeah. Their experiments resulted in the first Chronosorter, a man-made resonance object. 
so it worked. I mean, I guess, yeah, it, it, at least one part of it, yeah. No, a Kronos mm. can only rewind time within a narrow range. It's no match for the Sentinel's immense power. Right, right. If objects didn't work, then what if it was a person? Jinshi. We are getting closer and closer to the truth. Mm. Two more flare stones left. Everything aside, first we must find Jinshi. True, true. Okay, yeah. Uh, do I ha do I have this in my uh in my in my inventory thingy uh data bank? No, not data bank. Um, do I have it in my? I I guess just gallery, maybe gallery archives. Literally nothing. Okay. Interesting. Crossing stars. Character related stuff. Um. Backpack maybe then. Um. No. <laughs> Obscure recipe. Yeah, I would assume it was would be here unless uh. No. Okay, I guess it'll just have to be left there. Sure. <clears throat> Gonna be a pain in the ass later to look back on that, but uh, sure. Okay. I guess we push forward. Bullies, let's race! Oh. Okay, that is now it's unlocked. Sure, I came in here too early then. <laughs> sure. Another Chronos order. Mm -hmm. The second flare stone should be behind this gate. Let's restore the collapsed gate with this Chronos order. Sure. Uh, let me put it. Okay, if I let me just before restoring it fully. Okay, where does okay that puts that all the way there? So if we want to use the puzzle, we need to leave it to the middle part. Sure, let's do the puzzle first. Did, it, did things get uh, affected here? No, that is still like that. Unless maybe we can... Uh, uh, let's first do this puzzle and then uh, go back check there. Let's go check back there. Hmm. So it turned you into a clan bang. <laughs> Please use the leap device to eject yourself and crash through that ice wall. Yeah, can't get that yet. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, oh. Right. Okay, so right click makes me just run. Okay. <laughs> Very funny. Do I need to press anything? No. Another Chronos order. Let's mm -hmm. give it a try. Uh, sure. Uh, use the Chronos order in the stone room to raise the flagstone. Ah, in this room. Sure. Okay. Okay. The stone slates have formed a path. Mm -hmm. Now we can bring the Tacitite Fulminate across the water. Thank you, Chung Li. Yeah, no running or no jumping or uh, doing might have movement with this. Used to test that fulminate to raise the fissured ledge. Um, that one, yeah. There we go. Ooh. This hidden area may allow us to reach that photon vault. Uh-huh. Well, that almost feels like a boss enemy, but not quite. Oh, shiny! It's shiny gotta be a dragon's indeed. treasure! Sure. Ooh. 
Okay, well, that is still locked. Maybe I need to beat that enemy to activate that. Let me see here first. Yes. There has to be more, right? Here comes Encore! There we go. Um Can I without yeah. Cool. Just open that path for later easier use. Okay. Are you a You're an enemy? Level bum 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 bye 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 bye. Okay. <laughs> so this game has done the same thing as what Genshin did. So basically adding a super tough enemy just there in case you feel a bit bored with your regular enemies. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. Um Can I sneak by you? Do that. Okay. Is that our one of our things? Or is that something different? Chain corroder. I really don't know if I can beat. You. I, I mean, I can try. I, I feel like I should avoid all hits from you. Let me be your blade. Tempest, please. Storm, hear my command. I mean, at least I have fusion damage, which might be good against you. Oh my god. Well, you didn't didn't one-shot me, but still a lot. Embracing change. Okay, let me um I think we can fight this. It's gonna take a bit. Uh I mean, but I, I still do think it's doable. Just kind of slow. Oh my god, I kind of missed that. I shouldn't do this. This is such a slow attack. Uh, I'm doing so little damage. That was easy damage. Leave that away. Leave me alone. Leave it to me. Okay, let Very me use shy. this. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing so much fun. Oh my god, she got one shot. Stop. Rise and shine. <laughs> Do I do any damage here? I, I need you to get some distance. Oh, okay, yeah. Sure. Fine. I, I, I'll leave you be. I'll, I'll come back to fight you later. <sighs> okay. Very cool. <laughs> sure. Uh, there's stuff there. Should I try? Sure. Let me, let me just quickly see if I can walk past it and see what what is what's behind it and also maybe see what's that what that is speeding up okay th that's that's for the uh ice pilot i think we need to don't do that i want to fine let me interact with this what that do Oh my god. Just getting a one shot. Did that do anything? I mean, it, it's pointing me towards there a bit. Mm. Fine, you win this round. I'll come back later. <laughs> fun enemy, though. For fun challenge. I wonder if by this point it was already normal to have level max level characters maybe i mean i'm already level 50 here um all right let me go check if this amount of changing the time back uh made open made this open no not yet 
Although I'm feeling like that might be something. I do have a butterfly with me. Okay. So that helped. And damn it, lasted for a while. <clears throat> so I guess that was for this, yeah, the corroder. There we go. Nice. Shiny. Be a dragon's treasure. Sure. <laughs> and then there was whatever was back here. Can I interact with this yet or do I need to do... I mean, can I stand here? Yes. Can I... Is that something I can just shoot? I mean, it's red, so We're probably not... Together. Mm, I'm, yeah, I'm, she's here, she's left-handed, so I'm hitting the pillar. Mm. Fine. <laughs> no. Let me try activating the tube once more. Huh? Can catch up? Well, why do I have... Um... Why did I have that there? Okay, so this was one and done deal. Sure. Fine. I guess I need to raise that up before I can do anything. Nope, wrong direction. So that goes up there. And that brings that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. There is still another photon vault to break. Mm -hmm. We can't reach it from here. We may need to look around for a better vantage point. Mm hmm. And we cannot stand here. <laughs> Yeah, this room was made so you cannot really. Unless. No. Up and away. I mean. Maybe. Okay, sure. Uh, well, away. that's that. I'm not sure how that was intended to be done exactly. Uh, but sure, we did it like that. Uh, please do tell me if you really care. Uh, I mean, I, I would be very interested in hearing uh, what's the actual way to go through that or solve that. I mean, that works and... Uh, you know, it. You can't do without Encore. Off we go. And, uh, I mean, I, I like the innovative ways or uh, unusual ways to solve the puzzles. That was more like brute forcing though, so I don't know. Yeah. I do wonder what the actual way to solve it was. Mm. Because if we chrono sort back and make that pillar half fallen, that is just going to deactivate as far as I know. Oh. Yay. Do we have another click clack thingy? Oh, we can just break those. Okay. Cool. Let's race. Do I need to uh, do something specific with them? I mean, that's two, and I know there, there was a third one at the very edge. Do I need to go back there and uh, break it? Because that's the only other one I've seen, I guess. I guess we go back. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, please ignore me. No. There. 
Is that? Oh no. I wanna go home. Okay. I'm not seeing anything else here. Let me just quickly go away. Well, that was the third ice block. I know there's a healing station very nearby. So there are more here. Oh, effective potion one. I'm surprised he hasn't activated it. Uh, we can beat him. Speeding up. Okay, this is the other. Oh, I guess I should have come from here, beat this guy, open that, and then shoot. Okay, I got it. I got it. That's how you're supposed to do it. Sure, 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 sure. Or that's how the devs intended. Interesting that he doesn't aggro at all until I aggro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat him, act it, uh, get this open, and then proton sort that back. Sure. Oh, okay. Got this is so much fun! Commence embracing change. See. Not too bad of a battle. Ooh, that was cool. debuff on us. Interesting. Well, it's going away soon. I guess we are being affected by frost or uh, ice. Sure. Chrono sorted back. Yeah. There we go. But that still doesn't give us any path here. Pointing me to the chest. Can I get it now? Find us keepers. Sure. Hmm. Something is gonna drop there, or this is gonna become an elevator that takes us back up. Okay, there's something pointing even more down. Oh, that's gonna definitely go down because both of those things are down. This was called the middle level. Okay. Uh, let me see. We've reached the carrier lift. Hmm. Sure. <clears throat> cool. One last flare stone to go. Mm -hmm. There's a carrier lift nearby. Perhaps the flare stone is on the floor beneath us. Yeah. We should be able to find Jinchi soon. Hopefully. Yeah, upper tier. Let me just check the upper tier first. Something above the carrier lift seems stuck. Okay. Never mind. Interesting design there. Oh my god, what was that? Why do I have so so high ping? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, go that way. Um uh, first get these then. Wizard, Rip Snail, my beloved. Oh, I mean, don't mind if I do. That feels like where we are eventually supposed to go. There has to be more, right? I mean, yeah, okay. Both ways lead here. But it's leading us towards that first. Uh Sure. I'll I'll follow the intended way this time and then come back here later to read that. Uh. Sure. Because it's leading me to this first, so 
I should probably read that first, yeah. Fine. I'll save the day. Anything more? No, it's deeper that I mean, yeah. Um scary. Where? Oh there. back and read that thing although i'm very curious about this oh what do we have here <laughs> you can't hide from me <laughs> this feels like a thing that would eventually open hmm. i guess we'll see i guess we'll see <laughs> just get you out it. just in you case can't do without encore off just we go sure can't do without Encore. There we go. Let's continue reading. <coughs> Board, uh, CSC Research Memo 1. Research Memorandum C532. Date uh, May. Okay. As our 903rd experiment ended in yet another failure. We couldn't help but reminisce about our initial excitement when we completed the first Chrono Sorter prototype. Mm. So it's been a while. However, we were always aware that it was a crude replica of C001's power. Sure. My calculations showed that the Chrono Sorters could only function within a specific distance and would become useless once removed from this region's time barrier. Although they may still work at the Luminous Shore. Mm. Despite this, I clung to hope. The concept of a secondary resonance was more than just a theory to me. It was my life's work. It was terrifying to think it could all be a mere fantasy. Mm. Uh, C... well, not too late after. C5 or 5. Date... oh, that's... Okay. Fifth of something. Yeah, 26th of something. Sure. The 931st Chronos Order, like its predecessors, was destroyed by intense resonance shock. But it successfully restored time for a brief 1.29 seconds, making it a valuable sacrifice. Very cool. I... I was right. My belief in the secondary resonance theory has been confirmed. When two entities resonate at a high, high, high frequency, the weaker one can exert much greater resonance power than its original capacity. Okay, sure. Kinda overloading it. The only issue, or overclocking maybe, hmm, I don't know. The only issue is how the Chrono orders we've been making are too fragile for this task. I need a more powerful resonator, but the risk is too great. No one can withstand the resonance shock of C double O one's in uh, C double O one without enduring catastrophic overclocking. Yeah. Note: I must speak to our visitor. I saw them telling C double O one something. Curious. Okay, that makes me think it's more Jinshi now, but I don't know. I am convinced that there is a connection between what they did and the brief success of Chronos Order nine, number 931. Or maybe it's past us. Yeah. Yes, I had seen it with my own eyes. C001 must have transmitted some form of unknown energy to Chronos Order 931, just when I had deemed the experiment a failure. Hmm. Is that so? Uh, what does it say? I mean... So this file confirms that the Chronosorders are artificial resonance objects. Yeah, yeah. 
they activate when hit with a strong impact to create the corresponding resonance effects. Sure. And this also answers my previous question. The Chronos Orders rewind time through resonating with the Sentinel. Mm hmm I very much appreciate all the detail. We go in uh, to get this uh, <laughs> pseudoscience working, or not pseudoscience, uh, sci-fi, <laughs> science fiction working. That sounds really powerful. Yeah, but it may also exert some, I, I, I don't know, pressure. It, it may steal some energy from Jue at, uh, at the same time, so uh, we'll see. So far, uh, we haven't heard anything like that, but we'll see. That sounds really powerful. No, it was nowhere near enough. Mm. The Chronos Orders shut down once they are removed from the Sentinel's range or the abnormal time flow on Mount Firmament. Sure. Plus, as artificial resonance objects, their capacity is limited. Hmm. According to the Court of Savante researchers, there was a hypothesis that could potentially make them more powerful. The Second Resonance Awakening Hypothesis. Hmm. Which states the collision between two resonating frequencies might cause a Second Resonance Awakening. That prophecy. A destined fight between Jin Shi and the Sentinel. Right. Ah, uh, yeah. Man. Yes. That fight has to happen to trigger a second resonance awakening for Jinshi. Mm -hmm. So she may exert even stronger resonance abilities. Ones that allow her to restore the flow of time. <sighs> yeah, and she's kind of forced into doing that to save people here. Yeah, okay, yeah. Did the uh, Court of Savantes research succeed? Countless Chronos Orders were made to collide with the Sentinel's frequencies, mm. but they were no match. All the machines turned to dust. <laughs> dot dot dot. Without exception? One Chronos Order briefly showed the power to restore time before breaking apart. Mm -hmm. This proved that a second awakening can indeed improve resonance ability. Sure. The research log mentioned that all Chronos Orders were working in an overdrive mode. Mm. It's similar to how human resonators experience overclocking, they wrote. Right. So, um, sure. What is overclocking? I mean, yeah. Overclocking happens when a resonator overexerts their ability. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this researcher who wrote this suggests that it might be the key to triggering a second awakening. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound like a good thing. No, it really doesn't. <laughs> Go beyond your limits. <laughs> Push through your limits and basically... Uh, yeah. But, I mean, that's how it sometimes works in, in some stories, yeah, so sure. No, it's not. Mm. Exhausting oneself will only result in destruction. Yeah, like, sometimes, sure, if you push yourself to the limit and then allow yourself to heal, then it's similar to how do human muscles work. Just, just pump iron and then tear the muscles and they grow back stronger. And more plentiful, but like, uh, and that can apply, I guess, to resonator stuff. But but it's it's so such a dangerous line because these are like supernatural powers, so it's hard to gauge your actual limit, which you should stop at. And like, if you go past it, you you may <laughs> induce permanent damage, either losing all your Resonator abilities, I, I don't know, getting some brain damage, maybe your spirit, spirit may break, it's it's hard to say. But I don't, I don't know, maybe that is required for you to get a second awakening. Mm. In addition, I noticed another detail in these records. Yeah? 
the Chrono Sorters required manual control, mm -hmm. while the Sentinel Jue appeared to be under someone else's command. Scary. Is that the peculiar visitor? In the only incident of success, just as the Chrono Sorter was about to break down, mm. that peculiar visitor gave an order to the Sentinel. Right. And the Sentinel successfully transferred some kind of energy to the Chrono Sorter thanks to that order. Hmm. Overclocking. When the Chrono Sorter almost broke down. Energy transmission. Rover, do you have an idea? Do we? Did we piece it together? Hmm. I'm curious now if I should go back to the uh, to that direction to check that, but maybe not. We'll get to go Jinchi. there. Oh, um, that seems to suggest that Shinji is right around there. Lilies, let's race. Maybe we should go read the other thing. <laughs> um. Sure, let's go read this thing before we are. Uh, just in case it might give us some some insight. Yeah, okay. Communication log that child. Holy shit, what a name for a commun uh, log. Uh, reply that child. Unfortunately, C001 did not respond to the matter concerning that child. I'm assuming this is Jinshi. However, the fact remains that the dead baby did come back to life, right? We do not need C001 to confirm anything for us, or else the strange occurrence. occurrence wow, I'm struggling. Occurrence? Uh, whatever. Occurrences of that day would be meaningless. As for the child's identity, there can be no other answer. Besides blank. Hmm. I mean, it could still be past us, but most likely Jinshi. As for how the dead baby was brought back to life, I suspect it has something to do with, with the turning back of time. But neither you, I, nor the people of Hongzhen are able to remember the events of that night in detail. Hmm. If we rule out the possibility of a collective hallucination, this at least indicates that the phenomenon of churning back time on that day only affected individual entities, and not all of Mount Firmament. Hmm. Okay. A citizen of Hongzhen told me that a child is now being fostered into town. Maybe we should go and take a look. Sure. The Sentinel never tried to interfere with natural death before. Why did it make an exception? Mm hmm. Oh, Jinshu. Oh. Okay. Um. I. I guess I did that out of order. Whoops. I mean, uh, like uh, at at the very least, uh, we they mentioned that Jinshi is there, so we meet up Jinshi with Jinshi and uh, go a bit further, and then eventually make it to that logbook there. Sure. Uh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> I didn't know. She's fighting. Oh. Hella cool. Aww. Oof. Yeah. Hey there. You. Mm-hmm. It is us. Don't worry. Rover is special. Mm -hmm. The temporal disruption can't hurt her. Mm-hmm. We're here to help. I... <coughs> Cheng Li, you're. Hmm. Shh. Hmm. I gave my word to be your pawn, 
and I intend to keep it. Okay. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. <clears throat> courtier, okay. And let's not forget, without me playing the Wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have her here. I guess, yeah. Rover has a strong connection to this place. Mm. You need her help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. I'm, I'm honestly here to help. But we already owe Rover a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't mind helping you again. and I'm here to find out about my past now. I don't mind helping you again. Thank you, Rover. Mm hmm Thank you. Anytime. Rover, I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. Mm hmm It will surely have the answers you want. Maybe. Assuming we can talk to it and it doesn't die. Uh. Let's cut to the chase. Ah, uh, sure. What did you find in Truthseeker's past, Jinchi? Hmm. According to the Court of Savante's records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. Sure. As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinjo. Mm-hmm. Only the Sentinel's appointed Resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Sure. That's actually good. But does that mean that you, do, you two need to clash or you need to sacrifice yourself or do you just need to be near and then do your thing and that's good enough or... Their records indicate a solution. The second awakening, maybe? To reverse the rapid aging effect from temporal disruptions, mm. I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat, mm -hmm. triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. I, I, I hope this goes well. That sounds really scary. Let's say you can achieve all that, <clears throat> but Jinshi, do you understand what is at stake for yourself? Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe I'm just being a worry wart for nothing, but that sounds so scary. Like, it, it could honestly lead you to changing as a person entirely. Or maybe even eradicating your current personality. I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue. Mm. But I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. Aww. Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since the city's founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. Mm. The temporal disruptions we face are just a side effect of its efforts to protect local people. Sure. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what do you plan to do, Jinshi? <laughs> I guess just follow what, what was prophesized and clash with it. If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Mm. Today it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow it could be all of Jinjo. Very scary. I... I will. Mm. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. <sighs> Let's hope it goes well if it comes down to that. <clears throat> it's the only way to save Mount Firmament. Protect Jinjo and help the Sentinel. Okay. Have you thought about the consequences, Jinshi? 
trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. Right. And I feel like... We both know what that means. Mm. You could lose your mind forever. Yeah. Or even disintegrate into dust. Ah. You don't want to end up like those Chronos Orders, shredded under immense pressure. Yeah, and it's even more uh, dangerous than a regular overclocking, because this is colliding with even higher power than just your own. Like, you're practically taking on God's power. Uh. On top of that, do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? Hmm. I can see right through your facade, Jinshi. Mm. You're essentially committing suicide at this point. I I don't want that to happen, but we'll do anything but that. You're one to talk, my teacher. Mm. I learn from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? <laughs> oh? I don't remember ever teaching you that. Yeah? We all die eventually, but we need to stay alive as long as we can to achieve more. Mm hmm. Sure. Jinshi, you must live and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. I mean, yeah, that's the idea, but uh, I don't know. Do you mean inherit as in let it die and she gets all the power afterwards? I don't know. Cheng Li. I... Mm. Jinxi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. Yeah. That's why I brought Rover here. Yeah, maybe we can help turn the tides. <laughs> the withering waves. You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our Sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. Mm. She's also the mysterious visitor spoken of in tales about Mount Firmament. Mm hmm. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. Right. Hmm. Okay, yeah. If anyone can help us with the situation at Mount Firmament, it must be Rover. <laughs> I don't remember anything, but I can fight. True. I'm strong. It wouldn't hurt to help her. There might be other options here. Uh, I'm strong, it wouldn't hurt to help. <laughs> Thank you, my teacher. Jingxi will keep your words in mind. That was a weird way to say her name, sure. Lastly, we still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our Sentinel trapped. Mm. This will determine if you can actually meet it face to face. Yeah, very scary. Maybe the Flexidus are just really strong. Honestly? Honestly? Maybe the whoever is at the very top of Flexidus might honestly have god level power. But um, they might be using the Court of Cervantes mechanism. Yeah, that's more likely. Maybe they manipulated the Sentinel's weakness. Um, I mean, all three, probably. But uh, most likely using some sort of advanced mechanism. Yes, it could be any of these scenarios. Mm -hmm. Lady Xingyi is already on the case. We should get an answer soon. Hopefully. The cipher key should be inside <clears throat> the stone chamber behind mm -hmm. its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving. <laughs> sure. Go deeper into the truth seekers pass. 
let's uh get this last thing here and uh then uh call it a day. Gold miner. So many achievements. Nothing there, yeah. Oh boy, how long have we been going? Hour 40? I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> I wanted to do like an hour long video, but just couldn't find a good spot to stop. So here we are. Look, our last target on those floating floor tiles. We need a way to restore them. Sure. Curious? Please, let's race. Ha! Ha! No. There we go. Ah, uh, sure. Let me. That's the uh, notepad just yeah earlier there. I guess this would have been the point where where we read it. So not not too out of place. Um, yeah. can't do anything when I think that even the chest is locked. I wonder if there, that's gonna become a boss arena. I guess we'll see. God, I hope I can We're in this together. change my character from Shishia to something else. Just guess Time real for quickly. another adventure? It's not working. We may need to follow oh. a specific order. Oh, my bad. Um Let's see here. Oh, that's two pillars. That's one pillar. That's three. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. My bad, my bad, my bad. You can count on me. What kind of story will Ankar hear today? There we go. It worked. It did. It most certainly did. The court of Savante set many traps here. They must have worked hard to protect Mian Long Chamber. Yeah. Approach. Uh, yeah. That... Uh... Might be a bit too small for a boss arena. I mean, depends on the boss's size, of course. But definitely a boss arena type place. Um... It's a trap! Watch out! Oh my god, sorry. I was just about to heal. Um... Trial mode. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a trap roller. Onwards. Watch out. Okay. Um. Oh, we have a new party. Entirely. I, I forget exactly how you play with her, but uh, button mashing it is. I don't think I've ever played with her. Lumi scale constructs sever edge. Oh my god. Disperse. One with the sound. Oh my god, that's a cool. Take four. I, I I would like to maybe read pause and read about Chungli's abilities. But uh we make do. Oh my god. Has she always had those horns on her when she Ouch? Oh we dodge. When she has her uh, uses her abilities. Take four. Together we vanish. Take four. Swift and resolute. One with the sound. Finished off with Rover. E. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh. Okay. Just changing party. Okay. That was cool. Yeah. Maybe I should have paused somewhere. I just felt like it would have ruined the pacing. Um, fine. Activate. Part 3. Last one. And that opens up the upper lift. Here we go. I'm done with all three flare stones. Mm hmm Good. Let's head back to the entrance. We should be able to access the cipher key now. And there's nothing else here. Okay, uh... Sure.
Oh, I guess now we would have yeah, come here and noticed this. But it's opt optional, seemingly. Okay, here we go. Speeding up. Um, let's first go to the middle tier. Uh, no, uh, we should just go to the upper tier. I guess it takes us back to the uh, first area, yeah. Chest. This should suffice for a while. Hey! Hey! There we go. Oh, lizard for me. Oh, cool. Against the wind. Yeah, yeah, so that's that. Sure, I guess I didn't even notice that the first time I came in. Interesting. Well hidden. Do we just go in or do we save that for the next time? I think we save that for the next time. It might be a really short finale for this place, but uh, I think uh, <laughs> this is long enough already. Yeah. So yeah, next time, hopefully we get to a um, climax. Maybe not. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, cool. Um. Patreon, early access up to two weeks. Boy, Links down in the description. Where will cool. the wind take See ya. You?